Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis, your favorite medical channel, continuing our discussion about pulmonology. I have a playlist on my channel called Pulmonology, and this is like the 15th video or something like that. Today's topic is retropharyngeal abscess. Retro is risky. Please don't ever forget that because it can spread to the mediastinum, causing acute necrotizing mediastinitis, which can be fatal. It's horrible. With that being said, now let's get started. First, let me answer the case of the last video, case 11, which had two questions. 21 year old male comes into your office complaining of pain and the back of the neck. Hey guys, please try to read it alone and then pause and try to answer it because I'm gonna go right ahead. The pain started two and a half days ago, which happened 36 hours after political fundraising marathon. At the event, he ran for one hour with a metal spoon in his mouth to declare his support for his free speech rights. While running, he fell on the ground and the spoon hit the back of his mouth. He noticed some fever and drooling. He says, doctor, I cannot move my neck easily and I cannot extend my neck to the fullest. Vital signs show a fever of 39.5 plus tachycardia and high blood pressure. On physical exam, the young man couldn't open his mouth fully because of the pain. Active range of motion of the neck is reduced during neck extension. So you have high fever, you have tachycardia, you have high blood pressure, you have fever and drooling, back up the mouth and he cannot extend his neck. Answer, this is a classic retropharyngeal abscess, and this is very important for your exam. Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? So malingering fictitious disorder or Munchausen syndrome. Just because you disagree with him politically doesn't necessarily mean that he requires counseling. Somatization, same thing, herpangina, this is, no, 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 this is Coxsackie, Ludwig, this is submandibular, not retropharyngeal. Taurus palatinus is a congenital anomaly, and this is in like a, an adult. Submandibular, no. Parapharyngeal, no. We said the back of the mouth, and he cannot extend his neck. So the answer is retropharyngeal abscess. Next, what is a fatal complication of this condition? Please pause. And the answer here is, since this is a retropharyngeal, it's notorious for spreading to the mediastinum, causing acute necrotizing mediastinitis. And I've told you before that retro is risky because it can spread to the mediastinum, causing acute necrotizing mediastinitis. DIC and ARDS are caused by sepsis. Hemorrhagic shock is caused by hemorrhage respiratory muscle paralysis by lots of neurological or muscle problems, bronchogenic carcinoma, I don't see any evidence here, this is a young guy with no family history. D, how about involvement of the carotid sheath during jugular thrombophlebitis? This is caused by, not the retro, but the parapharyngeal abscess, and we said that this is a retropharyngeal abscess, which means C is the correct answer. Retropharyngeal abscess, one of the deep neck spaces, because the retropharynx behind the pharynx is one of the deep, dangerous neck spaces. And as you know, bacteria love stagnation. Bacteria love stagnation. Those deep spaces have loose areolar tissue, therefore infection is very easy for it to spread. Those are dangerous areas. And they include submental, submandibular, parotid, peritonsillar, parapharyngeal, retropharyngeal, pretracheal, and prevertebral. We have talked about the submandibular. Remember my video on Ludwig angina. Today we'll talk about the retropharyngeal as well as the parapharyngeal, and it's gonna be amazing. Please don't ever forget that retro is risky. Why is retropharyngeal the worst? Because retro is risky, because it can spread to the mediastinum, causing acute necrotizing mediastinitis, which can be fatal. And this is the most dangerous complication of this retropharyngeal abscess. If you remember my second video in this playlist, it was clinically oriented anatomy of the thorax. I've talked about mediastinitis and I've told you one of the causes of mediastinitis is spread of a retropharyngeal abscess to the mediastinum causing 
acute necrotizing mediastinitis, which can be fatal. Other causes of mediastinitis include a rupture of the aorta and rupture of the esophagus. How to diagnose retropharyngeal abscess? Clinically, of course, and imaging, you need x-ray or CD scan. X-ray will show air fluid level. Don't ever, ever, ever forget that. Same thing with lung abscess. When you have lung abscess, you'll have air fluid level in the lung. When you have retropharyngeal abscess, you'll have air fluid level in the neck. Treatment, you'll need antibiotics and you might even need surgical debridement of the mediastinum. Remember, retro is risky. Horrible. Now we're done with that retropharyngeal. Let's talk about parapharyngeal. Less risky, but risky nonetheless. It can involve the carotid sheath leading to erosion into the carotid artery or the carotid vein. This is jugular thrombophlebitis. So, this parapharyngeal, jugular thrombophlebitis. If you forgot everything in this video, please don't forget retropharyngeal abscess spread to the mediastinum, acute necrotizing mediastinitis, parapharyngeal abscess spread to the carotid sheath, jugular thrombophlebitis. That's it. You're struggling to learn about Legionella, Mycoplasma, Pseudomonas, Rhinovirus, Moraxella, Klebsiella, Staph and Strep. Check out this website. It's called Picmonic. Pictured mnemonic, it's videos, animations, and lots of medical mnemonics, and they are really creative, like these nice characters. Check the link in the description below. They are not a sponsor of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. You can support this channel. Please do at patreon.com slash medicosis. I'll send you my notes, my cases, and all of this crazy stuff. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.